Morning guys, Rod from Origin Campus here. We are at Kenilworth, Queensland, in our favourite campground. And we've got out the long range V3 today, or this weekend. Uh, been out here two nights and um, performed beautifully. It is absolutely crackingly hot today. Yesterday was 36 degrees. Um, I think it's gonna get up to about 34 today. But um, last night and the night before, the trailer handled the uh, heat really well at night time. Um, we had Sirocco fan inside running. We've also got the ceiling fan, which helps pull the air out. So this one here blows the air on you. And this one sucks the air out. You leave the doors open with security screens. Like so. You can lock those from the inside and um, you can feel safe in there. Although this is a very safe place to stay and a lovely place to be in. Um, up the back, we've got our storage either side of that hat up there. Goes back about 300 mil. Put all our bits and pieces up there that we don't generally use all the time. These windows are absolutely fantastic. They're big windows, 900 by 500. Probably one of the biggest windows that you could put in a teardrop loads of airflow insulated ceiling and our storage for our clothes bags and stuff uh, we have tv sitting in the back there that we pull out and watch a video or two or dvd i should say and we didn't do that this weekend but anyway uh, so this is the long range v3 and um taking a few pieces out of the v1 and v2 and we're pretty much creating the what we're going to call the long range series of trailers um, and you can still get the other ones the long range v1 and v2 this is the v3 big difference between the v3 and the other two is this has the leveled out rear end so it comes out flat and provides a deeper kitchen deeper kitchen as in um, it's not up here it now comes right the way down so you're gaining about 150 mil in the kitchen in storage um, and it still has good departure angle of the roof uh, it's around about 560 mil i think the departure angle at the rear of the trailer there and another thing we'll put in now is this stove um, it's a really nice unit great little bit of gear that our big storage area there, knives and forks and so on. And once again, we've got our cupboards and we've got, made them deeper so they go back further, uh, allow for more items to be put in there. And we also have a little shelf up top that you can load up the top bit with some light gear up there and a shelf up here. Uh, fully insulated ceiling and our um, LED bug light set up um, absolutely works great that uh, we've got our shower set up there you go, let's have a look at that nice unit at that take a bit of pressure out of the line there you go um, that's cold water not hot water we only have that hooked up for cold water um just great for washing you know feet people and whatever else you want to wash uh this is this is our gas bottle holder now that's only a gas bottle holder you um, need to use that on the ground if you're going to use a portable system uh, there is going to be a gas bottle mounted up the front um, so that does not operate the cooker on the back there yet we're still waiting on our gas bottle holder arriving for the front um, and then we'll get that plumbed in 100% okay we've got our usual aluminium guards there powder coated we're running twin lights on this trailer so we've got twin bug lights we're going to swap those out for the LED one you saw in the kitchen there they're a little nicer and give you the option of um, being a um, clear light or a uh, amber light, I'm trying to say. Right. 
have a look in the battery box. Now in the battery box, we have our Victron charger, 25 amp, and then up the back there we've got our solar controller, fused on-off switches, breakers, uh, a 170 amp lithium, so it's a 170 amp lithium there, a nice little unit, and uh, this is for obviously electrical gear only, you don't store gas bottles or anything flammable in here, because that's not what you do. Because there's electrical gear in there, you know, put water in there. And here's the toilet. So this is where we can put our toilet. And um, underneath there, we store our gas bottles, uh, those little gas containers. Um, now there's no electrical in there, um, and it does have a vent, um, so it's a pretty safe spot to put those things. And um, we provide tie down points for all of the items in there to stop things sliding around and moving because the doors are designed to keep the dust out and um, not have everything flying around in there so you need to um, tie things down as any door should um, be not whacked from the inside. Uh, we've got a stone guard storage bag, we put lightweight things in here, there's a shower tent and a ground sheet in there, uh, another ground sheet in that one. Up front we have our 400 kilo jockey wheel, good setup, and our 3.5 ton hitch, and heavy duty A-frame come around to our fridge. Now, when we make our gear, we also make things so that it clears, and you can still open this out while that door's open, so you don't have to move your door and open your door and close it. And there's a little extra lock here. Must put those in. I don't know I've got that there. Must put these locks down and make sure that's locked in. So your fridge doesn't slide around. And this door bumps into that. Shouldn't do that. There you go, the lock's on now. And it does miss it. So if you've got the lock in, like I didn't have, um, it will be able to close that door at the same time without having to open or close that door. Uh, then we head into this side of the trailer, have a bit of a look inside again. And um, yeah, we're also running a full awning on this one. Runs all the way around, keeps all the shade where you want it. And um, yeah, it's nice and shady, like I said, it is hot, but it's a good thing to have up here. And we've gone the gold edition on the bottle opener. I like that bit. All right, and I said before, loads of storage there. Let's have a look underneath. Three water tanks, all the plumbing under there. Big solid 50 by 50 solid steel axle under that with Alco Outback leaf springs over there and off-road electric brakes. Alright guys, um, I think that's me on this trailer but it is a long range V3. A little different to the other one so we're kind of getting a bit of a series going here in the long range series. Um, I hope you like the trailer. The body length on this trailer is 3 metres long. So it's quite a long body for a teardrop, which gives you ample storage up the front and ample storage at the back of the kitchen area and gives you good sleeping quarters. And uh, let's not forget about that front box there, which is um, very handy. A couple of bags of firewood up top. And uh, you know, we've got a 200 watt solar panel up top there. To keep everything running and there's three water tanks in this trailer by the way too so got a lot of water on board a lot of electric a lot of 12 volt power there to um keep everything moving all right guys hope you enjoyed the video hope you got something out of it and uh we'll catch you later bye